All right, 4.1, investigate nonlinear relations. Nonlinear relation is a relationship between two variables that does not follow a straight line when graphed. So what we're looking at is probably looking at something that doesn't involve a straight line, which probably means it's a curve. A line of best fit is the straight line that best describes the relation between two variables in a scatter plot. A, and here's an example. So if we were to look at a scatter plot as such, and we want to show a line of best fit, we would probably draw one uh, somewhere along those lines. And again, we would take this line, for example, and um, some of you may look at this line and say, oh, I could move my line and draw it like this. Well, folks, that's not a line of best fit. And we could draw a line like this, maybe, and we all know that won't be a line of best fit. But let's go back. We want to draw a line of best fit, and it doesn't have to necessarily go through 0, 0. So our line of best fit here kind of goes something along this line, and you can see, uh, maybe let's change it a little bit, okay, like this, and it doesn't necessarily go through 0, 0. So not every line of best fit is going to go through the origin. Now, next, a curve of best fit is the curve that best describes the relation between two variables in a scatter plot. Now, this particular example here, we're going to look at an example on the next line that involves a curve of best fit. So, here we go. Here is a curve. How do we know what will that will represent? Well, if I was to draw a line anywhere around here, we definitely won't get a straight line. We would be forced to draw a curve. So in cases where a straight line doesn't seem to, to appropriately model the data, a smooth curve that passes through as many points as possible is best. So an example is like that right there. So the idea is we're going to be looking at curves in this unit. An independent variable is a variable that is controlled. A dependent variable is a variable that is measured, usually the one that you are interested in, and is affected by the independent variable. So an independent variable runs independently, whereas a dependent variable depends on an independent variable. So we need to look at how this information applies. So looking at this, you're asked to graph the data from the table drawing a line or curve of best fit as applicable. Explain your choice. So I plotted the points as such, and you get the plotted the points, and you can see that the plotting those particular points gave us a line of best fit. So here we go. Here are all the dots looking over here, up here, on the graph, you can see all the dots here, and they make a straight line. So we graph a straight line. On the next example, we draw the points that reflected in the table, and we find out that these points, and we keep going, match not a line, but a curve of best fit. So we draw our curve as such. Okay, so again, you're graphing points, very simple. Graph them, connect the line, and it creates a line of best fit. Graph these points, and we find out that they match a curve, so we draw a curve of best fit. Now, example. Okay, let's move on forwards with this. Example number two says the relation SA is equal to 6x 6s squared represents a formula for the surface area of a cube with a side length s. Fill in the table and graph the data. So what we're looking at here is again, you're given information as part of the table, you're given a formula, and you have to fill in this part of the table to graph it. So if our side length is 1, we plug in 1 for s, and we find out the surface area. So our side length is 1, so we plug it into the formula, 6 times 1 squared, which gives us 6, so 6 centimeters squared. And we do the same for 2, we plug in 2 into the formula, and we get 6 times 2 squared, which is 24. 
We do it again, 6 times 3 squared, 6 times 4 squared, 6 times 5 squared. The idea is the exponent gets the number inside the bracket gets the exponent, and then we multiply by 6, and you should get these values. 6 times 3 squared, which is 6 times 9, which is 54. 6 times 4 squared, which is 6 times 16, which is 96. And 6 times 5 squared, which is 6 times 25, which is 150. What we can now do is plot all of these points Please on our grid here. Could Elizabeth able Okay, so we plug in the coordinates as such. Here we go. And we plug it in, and what we do is we can now determine that there is a curve of best fit. If we were to extend this curve, think about it, would this curve actually touch 0, 0? Well, if we look back and we were to continue the pattern going backwards, 6 times 0 squared, which means it would definitely cover, go through 0, 0 in our case. So it definitely has a direct correlation with the 0, 0 coordinates. So the idea is you're to fill in your graph, and sometimes you need to extrapolate data, extend the curve, so that we can find out information that might be missing. All right, that's the end of this lesson, folks. Have a great day. Take care. Have a numerical day.